Okay. It is 15 minutes past the hour right now. Scary scene there. We turn over to Maddie Solkester with more on the weather. Good morning, Maddie. Good morning, Jeff. And it's relatively quiet, thank goodness, now that that severe weather is out of here. Good morning, everyone. Take a look at the national picture. You can see high pressure for much of the country. We have some snow showers in way northern New England and rain and snow in the Pacific Northwest. But we turn our to the Midwest, seven states under some form of flood warning or advisory. Uh, the Mississippi and Ohio rivers uh, are starting are at flood stage. Uh, Blanchard River in Ohio is actually starting to recede. Ohio is expected to see sunny skies, 32 degrees. That should help the situation. In the Northeast, take a look 58 in Philly, 52 in New York, 47 in Boston, much colder to the north. By the overnight hours, everyone starts to feel the chill. 20 uh, Syracuse, Burlington, 13. Temperatures stay like this at least for the next 24 hours, and then by Friday, the temperatures are expected to rebound for the weekend. That's a look at the weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening right outside your window. Thanks so much. That's your latest weather. Now over to Chris and Erica. Good morning. Good morning. I like to focus on temperatures rising, yeah. rebounding, as you said. Rebounding, but don't get your hopes up. Totally. Come on, Maddie. Let's go. <laughs> Whatever I can catch. All right, Castro. <laughs> As she delivers our weather forecast. Especially if I'm getting it from you, exactly. Jeff. Thank you. Good morning. Great news, Good morning, everyone at home. Taking a look at the national picture, we have two areas of high pressure in the southern plains and in the northern plains. But in the northern plains, high pressure comes with a price. Cold temperatures. Take a look at this. Minot, three degrees, five degrees in Bismarck. When you factor in the blustery winds, it feels more like zero to minus zero. By contrast, further south of Southern Plains, a completely different story. Very dry conditions. 76 in Houston, 71 in Dallas, 70 in Gulfport. We're keeping an eye on the winds in this portion of the country because we still have a few wildfires along the I-95 corridor in Volusia and Brainerd counties. And of course, we don't, wanna want, don't want those uh, wildfires to spread. So we're keeping an eye on the winds. High temperatures, 58 in Denver, 62 in Los Angeles, 53 in Lexington. That's a look at the weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening outside your window. This weather report sponsored by Subway. Try the steak, egg, and cheese. Thanks so much. That's your latest weather. Now here's Erica. Muddy, 